So, I wonder... Here's the thing. I try not to do things on this channel that we can't do in with a physical version of the game. Sometimes that gets stretched a little bit. In particular, um, when we come up with um, Amnesiac abilities... Where, you know, it, in a real setting to play Blood of the Clock Tower, you're not going to have a bunch of cards that say, what is your favorite fruit? And then a list of fruits so that they can point to their favorite fruit. <laughs> I mean, you might bring that along, right? You might. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> but probably not. So we do stretch it a little bit. But um, I'm half tempted to run an atheist game where we hand out, like, two or three of the same character to a bunch of different people so that it seems like a legion game but you probably you likely would not be able to do that in person having said that though you can um an in-person game put everyone to sleep and just show them all their character on night one if you're wanting to hand out characters so that's a thing that you could do i guess hypothetically um what do you think, Aggie? I'm kind of leaning on the side of content right now and being like, you know what, it's not going to be boring, we should do it. What, what, what do you think? Uh, I mean, yay for content. And if we can't do it on this stream, then when and where could we do it? Especially if we're not doing it in person. And last week we already did a thing you wouldn't do in person, which is making an atheist a marionette. Because um, in a normal game, you wouldn't be able to put these tokens in the bag like that to make sure that there's an atheist you'd have to do some shenanigans so True, sure yeah i didn't need much convincing to be honest you've given me ample what ample is going on here <laughs> you okay. are welcome uh, choose and sign all right okay okie dokie so let's do let's do the following um what we'll do is we'll um we'll put in uh an atheist so for the benefit of people who uh, who are relatively new to this game, this is going to be kind of a high-level thing that we're doing here. But the Atheist ability is that um, in order for the good team to win, they have to execute the Storyteller. They have to nominate and execute the Storyteller. If there isn't an Atheist in play and they do that, then the game ends and Evil immediately wins. So it's, it's in the Evil team's interest to claim there is an Atheist in the game. Uh, and of course, they'll know whether or not there's an Atheist in the game because if they are Evil and in the game, then there's no Atheist in the game. So that's the thing that could possibly, yeah. So we can break the rules when we're, when there's an atheist in play, but it's important that we give the good team an opportunity to figure out that we're breaking the rules. So we're not, we're essentially curating an experience and that's what makes the atheist so difficult to run. Here's what I'm thinking, Aggie. We put yep. in, we allow duplicate characters. We put in two clockmakers. Okay. We put in two balloonists okay we put in two town criers okay and then everything else is a one or maybe maybe we put in maybe we put in three librarians <laughs> i don't know if i like the two town criers um... <laughs> okay well let's let's drop that to one then Three librarians and two clockmakers is pretty funny though, because that's nearly half the game is clockmakers and librarians. <laughs> um, on your head be it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we give them at least one outsider? Oh hell yeah, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, you know damsels, should, so they let's, can let's, be let's really draw, scared of getting pointed out by minions. We'll put we'll put in three clockmakers because we don't want the first night to be forever. Uh, let's pop a mutant in there. Let's oh, I see someone's uh, someone's agreed with me in chat that we should put a damsel in uh, <laughs> yeah, just so they definitely. can be scared for the next two hours. Let's go. Let's go for a damsel <laughs> and eleven snakes. Oh, I host there's two damsels, you coward. Yes. And some mint. Uh, do you know what? Three huntsmen, one dumps. I, that, is, that is pretty funny, but <laughs> we want these guys to be talking to one another, so I don't think we should put more than yeah, one okay. dumpling. Um, <clears throat> let's, let's throw a snake. I know right Jamie now. is Aiden. I know. I know Jamie. Jamie is Aiden. We'll change it later. Sorry, I'm reading chat and listening to you at the same time. <laughs> we'll put a pixie in there. Um, so we've got three clockmakers, two balloonists, a librarian, a pixie, a snake charmer, a town crier, and an atheist. Uh, is the pixie also going to see a librarian? 
<laughs> I think we should tell. I think we should show the pixie a balloonist so that we've got three people claiming balloonist and three people claiming clockmaker. Okay. <laughs> just, this is gonna be. Oh, this is either gonna be amazing or terrible. If you're watching uh, yeah, this on YouTube, so how spoiler, it was amazing. I mean, game one was amazing. I loved it. Don't know about you. That's definitely going on YouTube. That was a wicked game. I really enjoyed that. Um, I was really glad that so I was how wrong, are they? How are they going to solve this game, Ben? Um, <clears throat> we are... Uh, that's a really good question, actually. I think, I think what uh, we should do... Um... Um, what we should probably do is we should give the Pixie a character that isn't in play. And we should and we should give the town crier ridiculous info. That and those will be the clues. How? Well, if we give okay. the pixie a character ah, that isn't in play, then they it. know yeah. then when they yeah. figure that out they'll realise it's probably atheist. And if we give the town crier info that's just pure nonsense, they're gonna be agreeing with the atheists. Okay, fair enough. Do we want that snake charmer, or do we want to swap it yeah, for something let's else? Yeah, let's ditch out the snake charmer, and we'll put a chambermaid in there. Okay. Yeah, that's some. That's actually some legit info. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's assign those randomly. Not like this. <laughs> this is going to be so stupid. Not like this. <laughs> Just remember that uh, the stream that I'm looking at has like 30 seconds of lag. Uh, so I can't see them yet. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> okay, let's, um, <laughs> we should show uh, the balloonist all of the clockmakers. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> and, the, and the other balloonist as well. Right, so, E oh, yeah, chambermaid, <laughs> Nikki, balloonist, Navin, clockmaker, Richie, <laughs> Richie, pixie, pixie, what was it? Oh, pixie, we haven't changed it. Yeah, we we're gonna we'll, we'll we'll go pixie. <laughs> let's go pixie. Cool. Um... Skills also clockmaker. Okay. Pixie dreamer, I guess. Pixie dreamer. Are we ever going to give them that power? Uh, because I guess we'll I guess we'll decide on that uh, when when the time comes. Wild Star is the atheist. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why is Wild Star oh, always the atheist? That? Wildstar is always the demon. All right, let's um. Oh no. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, do you want the Aiden to be the damsel? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll we'll, we'll okay. play him as the laid. Okay. Okay. Come. All right. While you're making a note right, of this, I'm gonna go and kick everyone yeah. up the arse and get get Wildstar to take the seat. Okay. All right, kids. Take uh, Wildstar. Take your seat, please, and everyone, brace yourself to go into uh, Nightface channels. Hi Ben. Hello. Hi Ben. Hello. Hello. All right. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Are we simulating any evil team? Like making people mad, or doing fearmonger announcements. Um, I think we should announce a fearmonger every single night without without fail. <laughs> yeah, Wait, I always wanted to use that bot function, and I never got to do that. Yeah, it's all yours. Just uh, give it a minute, and then we'll we'll announce yeah. it. Yeah. What we should actually do is you should announce it while we're in the channel with a with a good player and see what see what they think about that. <laughs> Definitely a clockmaker though, right? While we're in the channel with a clockmaker, we'll, an we'll announce it. <laughs> well, well, you, you can be in that channel and I can go into a different one. Oh, and no, no. we'll see how they react to that. <laughs> okay, alright then. We <laughs> can just simulate being very efficient storytellers doing two things at once. <laughs> Where would the fo Fearmonger go in the night phase if it were here? It would actually go before... Uh... Oh no, hang on, I'm looking at the wrong night. Um... Fearmonger there, yes. It would go before a clockmaker. Yeah. So I'm thinking, who have we, who have we got? First? What numbers are we giving these clockmakers? Different ones, obviously. I think we should give two of them the same number and one of them a different number. Okay. 
do we have a plan of who we're framing as a possible demon? Is it Nikki? Uh, I think we'll. I think we'll make Navian look like the legit clockmaker, and give them like okay. a, a two, which is a pretty good clockmaker number. And then patterns okay. and skills will give both of them a one. Because that's the kind of. Oh, okay. if, if, if I were a legion, I'd probably say one. Just to sort of. Because because that that might that info might be corroborated elsewhere, right? They are one away from each other. <laughs> yeah. We can some more. Gambling suggested clock one, clock two, clock three. I'm not opposed to that, to be fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. opposed. Skills one, pass two, navy and three. And then we can easily remember which one they were. We can refer to them as clock one, clock two, and clock three. Um, okay. I think this probably... Going counterclockwise just to, you know, follow the clocks. Absolutely. Okay. Um, <laughs> do you Actually, do you want to announce a fear monger now? Because this is about... The time that we Absolutely. probably will be going to the evils. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Good one, good. Come on, beautiful, beautiful. Go through though. Oh, I'm so excited yeah. for this, Aggie. This is going to be so, so amazingly ridiculous. All right, let's go. Let's go tell Richie that there's a um, a dreamer in play. Okay. <clears throat> ah, hello, Hi. gambling. How's it going? Uh, hello. So, <laughs> so Richie, uh, we are here to tell you that there is a, a dreamer in play. Okay, nice, nice. And that's all we've got for you. Yeah. Good luck, Richie. Bye. Thanks, bye. Do you know what? Gambling was right. Now that I've heard them both in quick succession, they don't actually sound that much like each other. <laughs> they do not. <laughs> Uh, Just like me and Kat, we do not sound alike, and yet people keep mistaking us for each other. Yeah, that's true. Um, right, uh, we don't need to do anything for Aiden, because no evils to inform. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's go to, let's give Law legit info, and we'll say Chris or, let's go with Chris or Aiden is the mutant. Because that's the legit something that we might do show law to outsiders one of which well neither of which are going to want to acknowledge it right yeah chris all right then that's mutant that's all okay. right <clears throat> hi hello 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 so we are here to inform you and uh i apologize for doing this to you but uh well, no, you might find this useful, actually. Uh, either Chris or Aiden is the mutant. Chris or... <laughs> I just want to kill them both. <laughs> okay. That's uh, that's good to know. <laughs> I'm, sure that, like... I'm sure that will win you much, uh, much trust yeah. in town. Sure. Right. Thank you, Law. All right, Aggie, I think we're going to smash through these in quick succession. Skills 1, pass 2, Navy and 3. You ready? Yep. Yep. Here we go. Hi, skills. skills. Hello. Hello. You, one. you get a 1. A 1? A 1. Yep. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Go on, then, Aggie. Hello. Do you want to do the deed? Uh, yes, Paris, you're awake. I can see you too. Thank you. Good luck. Navian, hi. Hello. You wake up and are shown a three. Three. Interesting. Okay, thank you. All right. Good luck. <coughs> so, All right. Uh, who are we showing to the balloonists? So I, I wonder if it might be funny to show both the balloonists the same info for at least the first night or two. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Or possibly we could show them each other. That's another option. We should totally like show it. them each other, right? Yeah. That, yeah, okay, let's do it. Okay, Ekin first? Yeah, let's go to Ekin first. Hi, Ekin. Hello. You wake up and you see Nikki. Nikki. Oh my goodness, brilliant. <laughs> All right. It had to be. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. And hey, Nikki. Hi. Do you, do you see my cottage? It's very fitting. It's 
Chat, I love you. <laughs> Beautiful. Knickknacks rise up. Um, <laughs> go on, what you got for me? So, uh, you awake and are shown Ekin. 100% the demon. Uh, <laughs> chat, love you too, Nikki. Yeah, chat. Woo. She's going to put down the scene traveler token. Most of them are One just saying honk. One of them says, kill, over over kill the Nikki. <laughs> kill the Nick man. Ouch. Yeah. But right. most of them I, love you, so... I tried to get chat oh, no, to kill me Jamie last says game, he but love no. You. Chat didn't want to kill me last game because Ben was scared it was Legion. Well, don't worry. This one is a Legion game and I'll kill you nice and early. Sounds cool. All right. See you later. Joy! Yeah. Okay. Just for the benefit of uh, myself and chat, I'm going to put the things that Nikki sees as seen townsfolk and the things that Ekin sees as seen outsider, just so that I can keep track of it. Okay, we need to wake Evie up. Yes, we do. Perhaps it is time to die. Uh, yeah, we'll give and, Evie. Uh, I suppose legit info for Evie, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's go. Yes. Evie, hello. Hi, Evie. Hello. How are you both? How's how's the cooking going? It's good. I've just served myself a dish of pasta, so this is perfect timing. Brilliant. Lovely. Well, with your with your sustenance, uh, hopefully you're going to go the distance. Pretty powerful role. Who would you like to choose tonight? Well, after I finish eating, I would like to sweep the floors of Chris and Wildstar's rooms, please. What have they been up Chris to? Chris and Wildstar? Chris and uh, Wildstar. Well, not much, because between Chris and Wildstar, you get to zero. Interesting. Thank you very much. All right. Cheers. All right. En enjoy both the info and your food. All right, this is going to be interesting. I genuinely have not run a great number of Atheist games at all. Uh, I certainly wouldn't consider myself an expert on running it. Um, I, I'm somewhat... Oh, nervous is not the right word, but like I'm not... Over, I've not broken in these shoes yet, you know what I mean? These are. This is a new t-shirt that hasn't quite stretched out nicely yet. So I'm, I'm hoping that this works, but it is. It feels very much to me like an experiment. Yeah, well, we have plenty of time, so uh, let's do this. All right, let's do it. Where's the bot? Where's the bot? Here it is. There we go. Good morning, everybody. The game is afoot. Um, good luck. Have fun. Uh, try not to uh, vehemently claim it's a Legion game for the entire game and then be wrong about it. See you later. It is not a Legion game because it's an Atheist. <laughs> oh no. I am the Atheist. I am the Atheist. Oh. oh. Who said that? Nice. Wild stuff. Hey. Oh. Wonderful. Chris. Yes, Evie. Can we have a chat, please? We can. Let's go. Uh, Wild Star, do you want to have a chat? Sure. Uh. Pato, is your talk? Yeah. I'll follow you. Navy in. Can we talk? Sure, Ekin. How do you feel about a one for one? Absolutely. What do you got for me? I am the balloonist, so I might be in your position that the same one from the Mega Stream game. <laughs> I'm worried. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, <laughs> that was that was that was rough going. Uh, I'm a clockmaker with a three. Okay, uh, that's kind of uh, anti-legion. I like it. It uh, is. However, there is the drunk on this script, and we all know what Ben likes doing to me when I'm in Legion games. Yeah. Um, for what is word, I saw Nikki. Nikki. All right. Cool. Cool. Um, okay, so if you want to... Uh, I'm going to try to sacrifice myself today. Uh, I'll explain it well when I make my nomination. Um, but if you want to hide uh, your like that fact that you're the balloonist, you can filter your information through me if you would like. 
Okay. Um, I might give Clockmaker in like twos or threes. Um, Absolutely, go for it. I will not push on that. Although we might execute Wildstar today since he claimed Atheist, but um, I don't know if that's boring or not, so we might not also. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll make my case against me when we get there and we'll see how much I can move people to get me out of the picture because I, I, I'm a liability on Legion script, Zekin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm the drunk and it's Legion, I will just vote on anything I feel like and I will lose the game for us. Oh, that's that's going to be your argument. Gotcha. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. And I mean, I'm decent for tox bait, right? So. Yeah, that's fair. It's fine. I'm happy to give Wild Star a day. Uh, speaking of Vortex, uh, Ben, how do you run Vortex and Balloonus? Do does the uh, uh, clearly you can't uh, Vortex the first night, but uh, do uh, do the Balloonus have to see the same type or just whatever? Uh, I I would run Vortex Balloonist as I for example I show the Balloonist a townsfolk, but I choose to put down the reminder token of minion. So, hypothetically, it can be arbitrary, but I think you can reasonably assume that I would stick with the spirit of Vortox and be showing, uh, you know, largely very wrong, consistently wrong information. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so there would be some duplicates expected. <laughs> yeah, for example, I might show the entire evil team, or I might show all townsfolk, or I might show two outsiders and two minions, or something like that. Oh man, Ekin, imagine if you're just, like, noble in a Vortox and you get shown the whole evil team. Uh, Ekin. Oh, hi, chat. Okay. Uh, just for chat's benefit, um, Kohov's claimed Town Crier. I've claimed Balloonist. I've told her that I got Ekin as my name, and I said that it's very difficult to find um, what token is Town Crier with my very pixelated. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still no um, idea what's going on here, but it looks fun. What web browser? Yeah, they're. Using, it's uh, they're no, they're I've nerfing gotten... Nikki. Because Nikki's too good. That's that's what it must if be. If anybody wants to see what it looks like, check out um, the Clock Tower online tool in the unofficial. If you press uh, um, if you press F five, Nikki, it should clear the cache and maybe that'll sort it out. Nope. All right, never mind. Anyway, I'll let you guys talk about the actual game now instead of invading yeah. your chat. Uh, um, I don't have much else to say about the game. That's everything I know. Yeah. I uh, probably won't do. be voting on Wildstar today or nominating. Ben, can we can we have a chat privately, please? Of course. All right, I'm happy to leave. So, I have a proposition for you. Okay. If this is an atheist game, I will happily take a uh, Mazefli's word from you personally <laughs> and try and help you win. <laughs> well, um, I I feel obliged to inform you that if it, this if this were an atheist game, I wouldn't do that. Um, I know that there's there's a lot of different. This is the thing about experimental characters, right? They're experimental. A lot of different people run them very differently. I'm aware Adam does all sorts of crazy stuff, but I likely would not do something like that because I just I don't think it's um, perhaps. Let's just say that I don't think I could handle managing something that complicated. Fair enough. It was so, worth a try. Yeah, worth, worth a try. try. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna head back. Wildstar is uh, evil. Okay. Well, then, if you don't think Wildstar is evil, mm -hmm. then there's no point. Actually, okay, I guess we could kill Ekin, but. I'm happy to kill Ekin or Skills because they are two away from Wildstar. Yeah, 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 I get that. Kind of truth. But. Uh, you want to defeat the, the, the meta oh. killing the atheist. I don't, I don't think Wildstar is the atheist, but I don't think she's necessarily evil. Oh, you think she's Seralox? Yeah. Okay. So you think the minions are Fearmonger, Serenogus? Cool. All right. I hope, I hope those are the minions. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I'm happy to die. Yeah, don't think it really matters to me. There you go. Yo, but okay. Um, what do you want to do? Um, two for two. I'm just going to hard claim to you at this point in time. You can give me back whatever you want. Uh, I'm a clockmaker. Um, I've heard of a different clockmaker. Are you in a whole swap with a clockmaker? No. 
I've okay. Of, I've, if that clockmaker is also Navian, uh, yeah, we just had a nice O oh, kind of moment. Oh, okay. What's your number? Yeah, it is Navian. The one, one I heard. I have a one. Okay. Um, I've told Navian, so I might as well tell you. Um, then uh, I am the balloonist. I saw Nikki. Okay, that sounds good. Cool. All right, thank you. Thanks, skills. Oh man, is this a Legion game? I'm worried now. <laughs> yes, you should be worried because Legion is on the script. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna hop off. Thanks, Ben. No worries. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? On Discord yeah, doing good. This conversation is going to be. Um, um, yeah, I'm just going to. Um, would you be willing to hard claim? I've heard of a dream in it, don't you? Sure. Um, uh, do you want me to go first then? Yes, please. Uh, balloonist. You're claiming balloonist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Are you actually hard claiming balloonist? Yes, I am the balloonist. Ben, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, what's going on? I'm the balloonist and I got a ping on you. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> I got a ping on you? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> out, out of question, did you tell anyone that you had a ping on me before you've told yes, me? Yes, um, I've told Navian and I've told Skills so far. Okay, this is this is hilarious. I am fully 100% <laughs> sold it as an atheist game. <laughs> I've told a few people as well that I got a ping on you. So, okay. therefore, I don't, like, I believe that this is true. Because... <laughs> like, Okay. Um, cool. Um, time's up. Let's uh, have patters. Oh, never mind. Down. Never mind. Your three mind. minutes were up, so you've got two minutes to chat now. Right. Before oh. we do anything, okay. Uh, I claimed a roll to everyone. Uh, I also claimed a ping to a couple of people. Um, could anybody, j just to prove that I'm not making this up, could, is there anyone who would like to say out loud? Who I said I got a pig on. Ekin. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> me and Ekin have just had the most beautiful of chats. Where yep. I'm like, oh, Ekin, because I want to find out. Yeah, I'm, I'm the balloonist, by the way. Um, okay, uh, Nikki, if you're going to try and make an outsider come out on this script. Oh, no. Oh, don't. no. This is, this, is, this is so much better. This is so much better. So, I'm okay. like, yeah, I want to find out whether you know, Ekin could be an outsider or a townsfolk. So, I'm like, Ekin, there's a dreamer who's seen you. Would you like to, could you give a claim? And Ekin's like, I'm the balloonist. And I'm like, <laughs> hmm, this is funny because I'm the balloonist with a ping on you. And Ekin's like, actually, I'm the balloonist with a ping on you. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. You, you uh, want to know, wanna know something even funnier? Yeah. I've, heard of, I've heard of three clockmakers one with a one, one with a two, and another with a three. Oh, I only heard of the two. Uh, yeah, all of them. Exactly. I've heard of all have, of them as well. I do have one question for the storytellers. If it is not an atheist game, could you make the drunk believe that they are a role which is in play? No, you cannot. Okay, cool. Just wanted to rule that out because that would also be hilarious if one of us two is the drunk and you've done that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say this just quickly. Um, so I know that I'm the clockmaker and I have a clockmaker too. It's possible that Navian is the pixie, and Skills and Ekin are two away from Wildstar. Ekin is double claiming, so is Skills. So I'm I'm not so far down that this is definitely an atheist game train quite so yet. Patters, um, patters. Um, okay, I'm definitely not the pixie. Skills is just a clockmaker. You're a clockmaker. I'm a clockmaker. We're it. in an atheist game. There's two balloonists who have seen each other, which is fabulous, and I love it. Okay. Yes. The fact that both me and Ekin said to people independ independently before we had a chat to each other that we had both seen each other. 
like yeah navian and um skills can talk to my pings because i told them before i he did yeah 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 so i i just want to say a a thing real quick um it's possible that there's there's several outsiders on this script that gain from claiming clockmaker um or that might claim balloonist uh i'm not convinced it's an atheist game either way right now um Ekin or Nikki can just be evil, and I'm not convinced that people any distance away from Wildstar should be killed either. Nominations are open. I like I should... Skills uh, nominates uh, Ben. I think Skills was in there first. What did you say, Skills? Skills nominates Ben. Oh, okay, right. Uh, so yeah. you've chosen me. I didn't want Nikki to have the privilege. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, there are 12 of you, 6 votes required. Wow. Wow. Oh, Excuse me? There's like no confirmation. We can just kill the storytellers later in the game. Yeah, as Hello? much as I'm really sold on a um, atheist game. Six I think to enough. all of us who Story have spoken with, each other with the same roles, uh, are socially reading each other as good. So, Wildstar nominates Wildstar. Okay, tell us why, Wildstar. Uh, there are enough votes on Ben, but uh, I don't think it's fair to make anyone go through with that. And the best thing to do if we're not doing that is kill me. And with Fearmonger announcement, I think I should be the one to nominate. Okay. Um... Seven required to lift it off Aggie and myself. Uh, evil team, hands down. Everyone, hands down. <laughs> uh, if, it's, if it's Legion, <laughs> by the way... High, but otherwise. La- Laurent, if it's Legion, then we should definitely, definitely have an alchemist come out now as the fame monger. Oh, yes. this no. is lovely and symmetrical, but four, four is, is not enough, enough and one <laughs> sort of safe for today. I, at this point, Ekin. I think... Um, Oh, that was a nomination left, I believe. Sorry, who made that? Patters. Patters nominates Ekin. Tell us why. Uh, Clockmaker 2, if Wildstar is lying, then it's entirely possible that Ekin is evil. Uh, there you go. I, I also don't like the, let's always kill the atheist first thing. Um, more interesting ways to play, I think. Okay, Ekin. I mean, there's three clock makers with one, two, and three. Um, so I don't know why I'm getting specifically picked as the clock maker two to be evil, but I am not. Um, so do what you want. Okay, because okay. I'm the clock maker with a two. So I believe my info. <laughs> Seven votes required to overturn it. Here we go. Does the alchemist want to come out as Fearmonger? Jesus, Jesus. Four is not enough. Not a legion. Uh, not Richie, a legion. Richie, Richie nominates. Yes. Richie nominates Richie. Oh my god. Richie nominates Richie. I believe I heard that. <coughs> yeah. Tell us why, Richie. You are all monsters making me do this. I appreciate this could just be a slam dunk, and it's somehow obvious to six of you that Ben is just an evil evil dastardly boy um but let's just get a little bit more information because i'm only good in this world unless you think i'm browbeating you to get myself on the block then it not go through and then win the game as evil surely that's enough lure for seven of you to well six of you ideally to tie it on me okay uh seven to put richie on the block six to tie Right, Ricky's going to tie myself. the vote, by the way. Yes, you will. 100% no, you're going to tie. Yeah, you will. Yeah, can we, can we not? Come on, guys. No, <laughs> seriously. Please. <laughs> oh, no. I, I'm happy to re rack at this point. <laughs> I'm not. Been, no. I'm, I'm not happy to re rack. I, I want to win. Skills. Okay. All right, Nick, tell like us why you've chosen skills. How dare you take away my Ben nomination? That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Skills? You've met your quota for the day already in the last game. 
Okay. You sound so evil. Sound oh of the God. card. Evie, why aren't you voting on anything? I, I always, yeah, I only wanted to vote on one uh, person today, so I'm not voting anything else. The storytellers? You're okay no. with us having the storytellers on the block? Um, if we're not executing well, so then yeah. Storytellers okay. still on the block, guys. I nominated myself. I'm going to nominate Patters. All right, so that's why I've chosen Patters. First, I'd like to say that, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna say that. It's day one. I don't know anything in the game. My role is not a first night info role. All I have is to rely on what other people are saying. I don't, I, this is a script with Pixie, Outsiders, evil teams that are quite good with these players. Um, I have no reason to believe it's an atheist game. And the fact that we got six votes on the storytellers on day one scares me. There was no information on that. And I, I think it's possible, not likely, that Wildstar could be mad. So the push on this is, is completely, like, I don't get it. And Patters is one of the three people claiming Clockmaker, so is an okay person to kill. And put his hand up on the vote on the storytellers when his hand was down until it reached him, um, making him an unpredictable voter that got the storytellers on the block. That's why I nominated this. I will keep voting until the storytellers are off the block because I have no reason to believe it's an atheist game and I don't want to lose. Okay, passes. I have a good reason to believe it's atheist game. There are two other people claiming my role. And if Skills and Navian want to say they're the pixie now, because I am the pixie. No, not really. I'm the clockmaker. But if I was the pixie, I'd just broke it. Okay. Uh, you know the drill at this point, guys, I'm sure. For vote number six, it's still seven to lift the storytellers off the block. Listen, even if you're convinced it's an atheist game, I'm not. Kill other people and just convince me. Like, we have the entire game. I don't understand why no one is voting, and it's really scaring me. Oh, is this going to be fun? I, I, I oh. don't know. Oh, God. Oh, oh so Richie is here. a tie. I am not mad. All no right, Navian nominates Navian. All right, tell us why. I am 100% convinced that this is an atheist game. I do believe the other two clockmakers are clockmakers. I do believe that both balloonists are balloonists who have seen each other. I think that's all the proof I personally need, but I recognize that not everybody else feels this way. In a world where this is not an atheist game, I am one of the triple clockmaker claims. I therefore must be evil in that world. Uh, you should take me out now. In a world where I'm good and somehow this is a Legion game, Wildstar is the drunk and... Uh, Ekin and Nikki independently managed to do that, and Skills and Patters independently managed to also claim Clockmaker on me, um, then I am a good player in a Legion game who believes firmly that it's not Legion and I am a liability. In a world where it's a Vortox game and somehow there's some other fuckery going on, I am good Vortox bait. So if we can't kill the storytellers today, which is what I wanted to do, you should kill me instead. All right, seven required. To be clear, oh, I this. am not mad, and I broke, like, if I was mad, I would have broken many, many nominations. Um, I can be drunk, I can be evil, I cannot be mad. That, that is, is not Maybe on the block. Uh, it's been a pretty long day, so I'm going to call it final, final call. I also find it funny that between the three clock mates, they got exactly a one, two, and a three. Exactly. Like... It's not a coincidence, neither is the coincidence that the balloonists saw each other. I'll also say, by the way, Kovac, why, why would we kill SDs on day one? From my perspective, right, um, I don't have, there is no more information that's ever going to occur in this game that's going to make me think it's not an atheist game. I agree. Okay, Navian is executed and dies. Everybody goes to sleep. Good night. You doing this one, Aggie? Uh, yes I am. Sorry, I was just reading chat. That's on me. Cottages! Nice. Well, I think we might have overdone it a bit, but the, but, but it's this will be interesting because perhaps we can salvage this a little bit. So, I think we probably tell one, either a balloonist or a clockmaker that the, uh, that the Serenovus has made them mad. Which of these guys do you think is least likely to believe that we're just blagging them? 
I'm thinking skills, probably. Mm, yeah, skills very chill. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, so I suppose we go oh. tell, tell skills that the Serenovus has made him mad that he's a... We could go for alchemist and hope he claims fearmonger. Alchemist. Yeah, either alchemist or another balloonist. Yeah, I, th I think we go alchemist. Is... Okay, yeah. We could go dreamer. To be fair, because that backs up Richie as Pixie Dreamer. Mm -hmm. But then we would have to keep him mad. Well, that's fine. Richie we're we're in charge. <laughs> we get to do that. <laughs> that is true. Uh, who do we want to kill, by the way? Um, I think we probably... I think we should take out one of the balloonists, honestly. Mm. I missed their conversation during the day, but I saw you had fun listening to it. It was very, it was very entertaining. Yeah, um, yeah. I think we probably take out. I think we take out Nikki because I think he's the one who's most likely to get paranoid that that he's mm -hmm. and start and start double double guessing himself. Yeah, we could take out Nikki. Tell skills, uh, he's mad as the dreamer, right? Yeah, let's let's do it. Yeah, let's go yeah, speak to it. skills. Skill, skill. Hi, skills. Hi. We would like to tell you that the Serenovus would like you to be mad as the dreamer, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. <clears throat> so here's the thing. If he breaks madness, we've got to execute him. Yeah, I was wondering if we wanted to execute Chris at any point for breaking madness. Uh, oh yeah, totally. He, if he breaks madness, we'll kill him immediately. Uh, that's th okay. those are things that we have up our sleeves. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Next. Well, we're in that case, if Nikki's dying. Uh, so. Ekin? Yeah, let's go speak to Ekin. Who are we showing? Uh, I think we show one of the clockmakers, probably Patters. I reckon. Okay. All right. Actually, no. Let's not. Let's sure. show. Let's show Aiden because he's going to struggle to get anything out of Aiden. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's fair. Okay. Hi, Aiden. You awake and see Aiden. Aiden. Okay. Good to know. All right. Thank you. Luck. All right. I'll remove I'll remove my uh, Nikki balloonist reminder tokens from the grimoire because uh, that's we're not gonna, gonna play nicely with Law's librarian information. It is indeed, yeah. If they ever talk. <clears throat> um, okay. Town crier, co have. Mm. Did a minion nominate today? I mean, we had literally seven nominations, <laughs> so we should say yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I can have. You are going to be shocked to learn that of those seven nominations, yes, a minion did nominate today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Carl. All right. Um, Evie now, right? Yep. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Still alive, that's a good sign. Um, would you like to choose? Yes. I would like to pick Aiden and... Oh, I... I was thinking, should I pick both Ekin and Nikki? Or should I pick Aiden, who's claimed damsel to me, and Nikki? Yeah, let's go Aiden and Nikki. So uh, that's an invalid choice. That is indeed an invalid choice. Oh. Um... Aiden and Ekin? You choose Aiden and Ekin and you learn no. They are impressed. Shock! That's 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 not <laughs> uh, so you choose no. Aiden and Ekin and you learn a one. Okay. Okay, cool. That was a chambermaid no, Evie. That's what that was. That was a chambermaid no. <laughs> Just confirming for the record. Sir, 
I got great. a chambermaid. No. We've, we've patched. We've patched the game. Uh, no, no, you got a one. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Good job. Well, it's an atheist I game, so we can do what we want. Uh, but yeah, no, that was that was a genuine screw up by me. You thought seamstress, right? Yeah, yeah. I just had a brain fart. Yeah. To be fair, I've been. It, it's <laughs> basically what's happened is I was. Um, I didn't get any sleep last night because for some reason. Do you ever do you ever do that thing where you're like you're trying to go to sleep and you're like there basically you're basically asleep and then your brain's just like wake up and then you w wake up for a moment and and then mm. you kind of start falling back in and then it's like wake up again and it just kept happening over and over again all night so I'm kind yeah. of uh, yeah got got my brains melting out of my ears because I had to get up this morning for something so I'm uh, I'm running on I'm running on caffeine but that's all right. I think we. I think yeah, we, it usually think we happens when when someone has to get up early in the morning, like yeah. I do every day. Uh, maybe that's why it is. Maybe on some subconscious level, the 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 knowledge that you need to get up is what's screwing you over. Anyway, um, I think we dealt with that pretty well, all things considered. Shall we wake everyone up? Uh, yeah, definitely. And Nikki died in the night. Okay, let me just find the town square. There we go. Good morning, Good morning, everyone. Nikki died in the night. Oh, Nikki. So, uh, I was muted so you didn't hear me call you guys little shits. <laughs> <laughs> if that doesn't so, help make it more like an atheist game, I don't know what. Ben has decided to kill Nikki. Three clock makers, who are you? Hello. It is Skills, Patters, and myself, Navian. Right, let me speak to all three of you, please. Sure. Okay, I have something I want to say to Town as Actually, well. Actually, can I get an ST console, please? Did Did you get? A... <laughs> Are you all right to handle that, um, Aggie? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I was looking at chat again because hey, there hey, is. Kim, what did you get last night? I've I've seen Aiden. Not Aiden. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna come up. So got it. Uh, I, 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 get, I get a console, please. Yes, yes. Oh, let's go to Jules' joint. Hello. All right, Ben. In the event that there is actually a Saranovus in play, if I were to claim that it's an atheist game, would you consider that breaking madness and not following through on it? Um, that's a really difficult question to answer. Um, I suppose that would be you claiming that there is. No Seren Novus, which... Mm, no, I don't think I would consider that breaking madness. I'd consider it... You know, when I, when I consider someone to have broken madness, it's usually a combination of things, right? I would say that it is it is a brick or two in the wall of breaking madness, but alone it is not enough to be considered to be breaking madness. Thank you very much. I just need a clarification. No worries. Follow. Okay, sweet. Hey, Skills. Um, Hey, Skills. I'm going to tell you what I've just told the other two. Um, I'm on board with the ACS idea, and I'm hoping this is not a Legion game. If it is an Legion game, I'm just going to shoot, shoot myself in the foot. Uh, but hey-ho, I am the damsel. Have at that what you will. Either we do a re-rack, or this is a big brain play. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to tell you guys that uh, I saw Navian as a clockmaker, and I saw Patters as a clockmaker last night. Come again? I saw Navian as a clockmaker on day one, or Patters oh. as a clockmaker on day two. You're um, a dreamer. Obvious, obviously, obviously uh, I, they also threw Legion at me, so um, make it that as we will. So, hmm. I have was mad about that. being a clockmaker, as being a dreamer. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, head hurts even more, goddammit. Sure. Well, I've told you information, so I shot myself in the foot, so be it. Um, but um, if it's a Legion and you all view free or evil, then... If it's a Legion, then the, the next thing I'm going to do, the moment we leave this conversation, is I'm going to guess you as Damsel. We wouldn't even need to leave. Ben's right here. In fact, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'd, like to claim, I'd like to claim Minion and uh, I... claim that Aiden is the Damsel. Likewise. I can't believe you've done this. I will this. not, because I don't want to mess with poor Aiden, who's already a damsel in an atheist <laughs> game. 
Nothing's happened. Okay, Ben has remained silent. Okay. Sure, I will go with that. And if you want to push the atheist world, I'll be behind it? Question mark? I don't... I don't Kohav says they have some kind of... They have some mm. kind of way to reliably predict whether it's an atheist game or not. I, that is impossible, from what I understand. I mean, I feel like the three clockmakers uh, who have independently claimed clockmaker and the two balloonists who independently claim balloonists to have seen each other is... Pff- all the proof anybody should need, right? Yeah, you would think. And but, you know. uh, a fear monger in a game with about a billion double claims. Oh, right. And nobody coming out as the alchemist fear monger. Yeah. Okay. If, if you guys have played me, then this is amazing. And I'm, I'm looking so forward to the reveal. But it's I will say the game. same thing, but it's just an atheist game. Yep. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to head Could back be. to Town Square and make sense of this. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Bye. Pixies. pixies. Like, imagine if the whole <laughs> left side of the grid were pixies. Like, it'd be nuts. But all the clockmakers are in the right hand side of the grim, unless the grim's <laughs> mirror to you. True, true. All right, well, uh, okay. I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right. I have no idea what's going on in this game, you guys. What have you put us? What have you thrown us into? My um, I claim hmm. innocent. <laughs> My team of info lines up. However, ah, oh, I'm getting weird socials from people. I need to get some more claims from everyone. Um, but I will say at this point in time, I feel sixty percent comfortable executing the storytellers. So. Watch it. I uh, I have my eyes on you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for an early re-rack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Paranoid. All right, I'm going to leave you both. See you. Right. I'm outside. I'm not going to be eating. You're an outsider, but you're not the mutant. You know what? I'll, I'll say that then, because I wanted to know if there was a mutant. I don't care, because I think we're in an ATS game. Uh, Aiden, I'm the mutant. And I'm sure... Storytellers will be happy to execute me. Uh, I agree. Um, brain melting. Nothing's what? happened. You're you're the lunatic. You're saying? No, I'm not. No, I'm not lunatic. No, no, no. I mean, my brain is melting basically. Okay, your brain. <laughs> uh, is okay, sure. Uh, we'll see if you get. It's an easy execution. Why not? Why has Ben not left and executed you? I I'll think go. Ben is just like hmm, messing with Laurent, messing with everyone. You want to mess with everyone. I think it's sure. there's more satisfaction into letting me alive and sweat. Okay. Um, Ekin does want a quick chat. I'm going to quickly grab him. Yep, sure. Thank you. You had chats with particular people to draw that conclusion. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. I don't want to say any more because, I mean, if it's an atheist game, it's fine. We can be open. But if it's not an atheist game, yeah. I can see reasons for to not That's talk about the information so much. Especially Agreed. since the person in question has been fairly open. <laughs> to me, <laughs> at least. Okay. And I'm assuming you too. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Cool. Uh, I want to speak to me quickly, if that's all right. Okay, cool. Good luck well, with that. Thanks for chat. See you back. No worries. See you back in town. Oh, hello. I'm going to go back now. See you guys. See ya. Oh, I think, oh I think... Ben, are we executing skills for Breaking Madness? Because I hear from the chat that he did. Uh, no, he claimed to be the dreamer. All right, okay. As far as I'm aware. Uh... I don't know. So many people in chat were shouting, you know, execute for madness. So, don't know, oh, did he claim I wasn't to be there. a minion? When did he claim to be a minion? And guest damsel then claim minion. Oh yeah, sure, but but that wasn't part of a madness break. That was part of him trying to convince. Actually, you um, yeah, that is kind of a uh, that's a tough one. I think I'll probably err on the side of caution on that one uh, and see what happens because at the moment, okay. I guess what we're trying to push is that it's a legion world, so we don't want. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. 
Yeah, okay, fair enough. All right, I'm gonna drag up. Get as much information. But it's so strong. Good like, evening. Take a minute, everyone, and then we'll open nominations. Um, Ben, I'd like to say that I'm the mutant. Okay. Who's up there? So last night, the uh, STs were kind enough to visit me and let me know that uh, I'm supposed to be being mad as the dreamer made by the Serenovus. So, Skills uh, are executed yeah. and dies. Everybody goes to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's, no, there's no evil team that involves me. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> oh. Uh, I know my, is my, my microphone still breaking up? Because um, no. <laughs> I don't see myself lighting up in Discord, and I'm so confused. I can hear you. Oh, okay, well, that's fine then. Uh, right, who's going to be oh. mad today? Well, first of all, uh, Fearmonger that we forgot about yesterday. Oh, that's fine, yeah. We'll do we'll do a fresh Fearmonger tonight, shall we? Yeah, doing it now. Okay, um... I think now we probably go to. Um, I, think, I think we make Chris mad. He's the alchemist. And see how that goes. Yeah, okay. Okay, shall we go tell Chris that the Serenovas has chosen for him to be mad that he's the alchemist? Absolutely. I mean, we could actually go. Oh, okay, never mind. She's gone. I was going to suggest the damsel thing, guys, but never mind. Yeah. Oh. Hello. So, Chris, uh, oh. the Serenobus has selected you to be mad that you are the alchemist. Fun? Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if they had a specific thing in mind, but uh, I'm sure I mean, it's up to you whether or not you want to play into their hand. What's on here? Serenobus, Fearmonger, <laughs> Mazafalee's Godfather. Okay, cool. That's that's a fun bunch. Could You could be Serenobus, Serenobus. I could be. <laughs> That's like a middle <laughs> finger to the Serenovus, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Cheers, right, Ben. Well, good luck. Yeah, I think I think that was good. I think he's... Yeah, Fearmonger done. Madness done. Uh, balloonist in the final? Yeah. Uh, I think we give Ekin... Um... One star? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good shout. That and where are you, Ekin? Somewhere there you are. <laughs> All right, Ekin, you awake tonight and you are shown Wildstar. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Okay, uh, what are we thinking? Yeah, what are we thinking? Shall we give Shall we give her a uh, a no? Or shall we just kill her in the night? Mm, yeah, I think we probably could. I think we could do that. Uh, so then we'll just move on to Evie and once again give her correct info. Yeah, because Car pretty much came out in town yesterday about being the town crier. So if we had a demon, she would probably yeah. die in the yeah, night, right? Totally. Uh, so let's okay. let's go see Evie. Evie. All right, Evie. Oh, no, I'm not in the channel. There we are. Hello, oh, Evie. Hello. 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 Uh, so, uh, pick two players, please. I will Kohal and Richie. Invalid choice, invalid choice. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know how to pick them. Oh, I sure do. Um, At this point, you're just a night death detector. <laughs> I am indeed, and it sounds like both of them are invalid choices. Yikes! Chris and Lau, please. You choose Chris and Lau, and you learn banana. No, you don't really. You, you learn zero. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no worries. Thanks, Eva. Right. Oh, you broke me with that banana. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, okay, right, let's, uh, let's wake these guys up. Uh, yeah, and Kohav dies in the night. Yep. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. Kohav died in the night. Eight players left alive. Cool. So without Kohav, can we just go for it? 
Uh, well, I also, just just to say for the record as well, Kohav's death there was to prevent Kohav from getting the Vortox information. It's, Correct. It's uh, no, but it doesn't make sense. I mean, okay, yes, but I already got Vortox info, so my death there makes me think even more that it's an atheist game because the demon would know if it was a Vortox. Like, the, the, with seven people nominating, one of them being Wildstar, a minion would have nominated if there was an evil team. So I would have already known if it was a Vortox or not. So my death wouldn't have served the evil team anything. So killing me there, I don't think is a demon move. Because, no. yeah. Evie, can we go? Um, yes. Can I just make the point, guys? Um, if, if you have been made mad, please stick to it. Because that's probably the only way which they're going to get to us. So be very strict of it. Uh, um, hello. Uh, you me over to the murder mansion. Yeah. Like, I assume it's the alchemist or the fearmonger, so, uh, I mean, you do you with that information. Wait, what? You saw me as the alchemist or fearmonger? Correct. Oh, Richie. Yeah. I am neither of those two roles. So, um, atheist game? Atheist game? Uh, perhaps? Perhaps? What are you, curiously? I am the chambermaid. Oh, so you are a, a ongoing information role. Nice. Yeah. Uh, did you pick me? Um. Yes, but I picked you and Koha, but I was told my choice was invalid, so I didn't try to figure out which of you two was. Uh... Right. Okay. Cool. But everyone I've picked so far has tracked with what I know of their claims, which is weird really weird yeah maybe it's just an atheist game and we've had the right combination of people coming out because if it's an evil game there's an evil team and they've just what lucked into some brilliant double claims yeah um maybe maybe we just reward the evil team here and give it to them <laughs> do it for the entertainment value yeah i feel i feel bad for tying it on that first day but i can't if Ben's not evil, man, I, I can't I can't give it to him so easily. So yeah. What do you mean? The storyteller's always evil. True. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's also point out that anybody who does say Alchemist Mazefoli is worried and the storytellers turn you evil, you're just gonna lose with the storytellers. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, you can I, also, I don't wanna. You can also win with good. The storytellers can lie about your alignment changing. Um, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I if find it, it less fun personally, but yes, uh, I can. I think it's more fun if everyone gets to win in an atheist game. I don't know. Yeah. We just want them to lose. Uh, should, we, uh, should we do, do a round we, robin then? Yeah, should we start with Wildstar because... You, you I'm the atheist. Well. Yeah. Aiden? Poppy Grow. Oh, that's can... why the Legion don't know. Um... <laughs> I'm the balloonist. I've seen Nikki, Aiden, and Wildstar. Kohav. Uh, I'm the town crier. I got a yes when seven people nominated. Among them was Patters, Wildstar, Skills, Nikki, and Navian. So lots of people that we have on possible minion lists, and I got a yes. So not a not war talks. Uh, low. Um, I am the librarian, and I saw people as the mutant. Evie? I am the chambermaid. On night one, I got a zero between Chris and Wildstar, which is why I was inclined to believe Wildstar. Night two, I got a one between Aiden and Ekin. And on night three, I got a zero between Chris and Lau. Nikki? Uh, balloonist, I saw Ekin. I am a clockmaker with a three. Richie? Uh, I'm the dreamer. Um, I've only dreamed uh, Eevee uh, all these nights, and I got Chambermaid and Fearmonger. Patters. <laughs> Clockmaker 2. Skills. Clockmaker 1. And Chris. Alchemist Mazapolis. I haven't said the word yet. <laughs> oh, Chris! <laughs> I, tried, I tried to palm it off onto Eevee on day one, but couldn't think of a way to clue what it is without saying it myself. <laughs> <laughs> you so wait, my um, zero and you and Wildstar's wrong then? Yeah, I think you're probably the drunk. 
Because we have no, none of the info. Maybe, 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 maybe. None of the info matters. Or that, maybe. Uh, like, we have, no one's claiming, we we have a mutant someone? somewhere who can't claim mutant because Laurent uh, saw a mutant enough. between players, but I think he's hot. I think Laurent, they are hiding who they saw because um, we don't want the yeah. mutant to have to break yeah, it. Yeah, we, we don't want to push. We don't want to give uh, storytellers a reason to execute Evie, someone. Evie, when did you pick Wildstar and Chris? On night one, and I got a zero. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it, because if, if if one of them's the mutant, we don't want to push it. Um, Could Wildstar be the evil goon? No, that wouldn't work, because she wouldn't be a drunken chambermaid. Yeah. Let's... Should we, should oh, we just... No, should. Nominations we just are ben? open. Wildstar Nikki is Ben. ben. Okay, well, was in there first. <laughs> Nikki, you're a bit too dead, Nikki, I'm you're afraid. dead. <laughs> Nikki is dead. <laughs> but right, Skip took it from me and it State your case. Me. Uh, it's an atheist game. I don't think I need to say more here. Okay, okay. just four yeah. votes required. Can we get 12 on this, just because? Come on. It would be really fun. It would be really fun. For the memes, come on, Kohav, low. Oh. No, Mickey, we can't I, get 12 unless we get this. Uh, what, Mickey? Vivian! Skills! 10 is it <laughs> yeah, not. It's an atheist game. Wildstar on the block! <coughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> See, look, per further evidence of atheism. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, if you I are think mad, and I think you it's are worried quite about... unlikely that you're going to beat that. In fact, you can only tie it, and I'm guessing Nikki doesn't intend to vote for anyone else at this point. God, no. Because of his status as a yeah. legion. So, uh, <laughs> I will... <laughs> well, then, the game has, is over. Uh, Aggie and me are both executed. And my congratulations go to the good team. Well done, guys. <laughs> hey. I think I think the great atheist experiment was a little too experimental there. My plan was for tonight I was going to I was going to once again wake Chris up and tell him that well, that he was the he was made man as the alchemist, but I was just going to pick someone else and say it's them as well. And then I was going to do those two again the next night with a third one and just show, slowly make more and more people mad. But uh but I wasn't given the opportunity. So uh, I'll do a quick, I'll do a quick run through, and then I guess we can have a re rack and run a, a, another game. Um, yeah. So uh, we had Evie the chambermaid, who we gave exclusively legit info to. Uh, everything that Evie learned was correct, uh, except for the night when I said no because uh, <laughs> because I had, to, had a massive brain fart and forgot what the chambermaid did. Uh, <laughs> we had... And you also said banana, so said you banana know that was well. even better. Yeah. <laughs> um, banana. Nikki, a balloonist, not the balloonist, a balloonist. <laughs> Sorry, Akin. Navian, a clockmaker who got a three. Richie, the pixie who was told a dreamer. Spoiler, there was no dreamer in the game. Patters, another <laughs> clockmaker who got a two. Skills, another clockmaker who got a one. Chris, the mutant, who Lau, the librarian, learned about, along with our other outsider, Aiden, the damsel. Uh, Chris was also told that the Saranovas had made him mad. Wildstar, the atheist. Ekin, another balloonist, who saw Nikki, then Aiden, then Wildstar. Uh, Kohav, the town crier, who got a yes because we were hoping to simulate possible Legion, uh, and then died. And that was everything. There were no demon bluffs because there was no demon. <laughs> I legit thought that Lo was the mutant. <laughs> I almost convinced myself. <laughs> 